Hi guys, I'm Angelo Perone, and in this tutorial I will guide you step by step in the post-production of an image of the Milky Way. This method is the basis for working with both single-shot and multi-shot images. The image used today is the result of the sum of 7 light frames, 3 dark frames, and 15 bias frames. Before performing the sum, I loaded the RAW files in Camera Raw and adjusted the color temperature, saturation, and color tint. This allowed me to obtain a starting file already corrected, with bright colors and reduced color casts. Good file preparation is essential to get the most out of post-production. Now let's move on to the actual post-production. We will use the Astro tab of Astro Panel, where all the functions are well described in the manual, available in five languages. In this video, I will show you a quick and easy workflow to get started. Step 1. Highlight the hidden signal of the Milky Way. The first thing we need to do is highlight the hidden signal of the Milky Way. Astro Panel offers four main functions for this purpose. Two automatic, auto over and auto under, and two manual, manual over and manual under. Under is used when the histogram is shifted to the left underexposed image. Over is used for overexposed images. In our case, we use manual under. Once this function is selected, the panel automatically creates a new layer. It is important to slightly lower the exposure without exaggerating, to obtain a contrasted image but without losing details in the shadows. With the curves tool, we select the brightest point of the image and reduce the exposure. This process highlights the hidden signal of the Milky Way, which will appear more contrasted and bright than the initial image. In addition, we will notice that a halo emerges around the Milky Way, which helps to make the hidden details of the galaxy visible. Step 2. Reducing the Light Gradient Next, we use the Kill Gradient function to reduce the light gradient caused by light pollution. We set the radius to maximum and reduce the intensity of the effect to about 20. This allows us to eliminate the gradient, keeping the contrast and the signal of the Milky Way intact. Step 3. Working on the stars. Now we can move on to the stars. Astro Panel offers several options to manage them, such as the Stars command, which allows you to emphasize them, reduce them, or soften the halos. In our case, we use the Filter filter, which attenuates the smaller stars while leaving the larger ones intact. This operation improves the visibility of the nebulosity of the galaxy and makes the image more natural, similar to what is seen with the naked eye. After applying the filter, the image will be less sharp on the smaller stars, but with a softer and more realistic appearance. This effect is useful for focusing on the main details of the Milky Way. Step 4. Improve Sharpness and Contrast to work on the sharpness and contrast of the shadows, we use the Boost function. This function can be applied with a brush or via a luminosity mask, which allows you to act specifically on the shadows without touching the highlights. In my workflow, I never use the brush to accentuate the details of the Milky Way, but I always use luminosity masks combined with the Astro Panel functions. For example, we apply a luminosity mask on the shadows, Shadows 3 and Shadows 4, and then use Boost. To apply a luminosity mask to the desired function, simply press the Apply button on the Astro Panel. We can use this combination of functions several times to accentuate the boost effect on the image. This process increases the contrast in the shadows, making the image more vivid without burning out the details in the highlights, such as the nucleus of the galaxy. Step 5. Selective Color Adjustment During post-production, it is essential to adjust the colors of the Milky Way selectively to bring out the details of the nucleus and the surrounding nebulae. We will use the following parameters.
Results of this adjustment. Reds intensify the warm colors of the galaxy's nucleus, making them more saturated and vibrant. Yellows balance the warm tones by eliminating excessive dominance. Blues add depth and intensity to the upper part of the Milky Way, where areas with cooler tones are often found. Magenta highlights the most particular areas of the nebulae, creating a balanced and realistic effect. This combination allows for a more color-balanced yet vibrant image, with details visible both in the nucleus and in the surrounding areas of the galaxy. Step 6. Edit with the Saturation Modal Window. We can further refine the image by using the Saturation Modal Window to adjust the RGB colors. This tool allows you to select specific highlights and saturate the red of the core, lower the shadows, and balance the colors to further reduce the light pollution. The blue color masks help to balance the color of the sky. With the help of the green color mask, we can reduce or accentuate the air glow present in the image. The night glow or air glow is a weak light emission of the Earth's atmosphere. As a result, the night sky is never completely dark. Step 7. Reducing Light Pollution We finish the reduction of light pollution by applying a linear gradient mask. We adjust the highlights, make the color temperature colder, and reduce the saturation in the areas affected by light pollution. This step eliminates distractions and improves the contrast of the image. Step 8. Applying the Orton Effect, optional. For a final touch, we can apply the Orton Effect, which gives a soft and dreamy look to the Milky Way. This effect is especially useful for landscape images, but can be used sparingly to avoid losing important details. Comparison and Conclusion. Finally, let's compare the result with the initial file. We will notice a substantial difference in terms of contrast, sharpness, and color the Milky Way will be more vivid, with evident details and well-balanced colors. Thanks for following this tutorial. Keep exploring the features of Astro Panel and do not hesitate to experiment to get even better results. Good work.